So today marks the start of Tornado and Severe Weather Awareness Week in Wisconsin. That's right. Now NBC 26's Jenna Bree joins us live from downtown Green Bay this morning. Jenna, what's this week all about? Yeah, this week is all about raising awareness of severe weather and making sure that we all have a plan just in case something like a tornado does hit. It has happened, it does happen, and you never know when there's going to be one bigger than we've seen before. Lori Mackey says more than 20 tornadoes come through Wisconsin every year. This week, people are encouraged to talk to friends, family, and coworkers about what to do if one hits. Pretend it's a real situation. What would you do when you hear the sirens? Wisconsin Emergency Management wants to remind everyone if you hear thunder, immediately stop what you're doing and go indoors because that means lightning is not far off. Severe weather can develop very quickly in the state of Wisconsin. And really we've had many days where it may not have been forecast, but something does develop very fast. Andrew Beckett recommends designating a shelter, like a basement or a room on the lowest floor, away from windows. And it's a good idea to keep an emergency kit there with a flashlight, first aid kit, and enough water and food to last everyone in your home or office 72 hours. It's important to know where those locations are so that you're not panicking when a warning is issued, because typically a warning means that there is an imminent threat to life safety uh, in your area. So it's important to seek shelter as quickly as possible. Now, it is dark out, but you can just make it out. You've seen them. You've heard them before. These are around one of the uh, 60 warning sirens in Brown County, and they're going to be tested this Thursday all across the state. They'll go off at 1.45 p.m. and 6.45 p.m. Now, at that time, everyone is encouraged to practice your tornado drill. Go to your safe designated shelter, maybe the first one while you're at work and the second one maybe while you're at home. In Green Bay, Jenna Bree, NBC 26. All right. Thank you, Jenna. Yeah, definitely something maybe you can practice with the kids this week or, yes. you know, if you're out there. And multiple locations, like Jenna said, it's really good to do both at work and at home. Yeah. All the places you can be when it happens because, yeah, we are <laughs> technically in that season. It's not as likely right now, but that doesn't mean it can't happen. They usually do happen anywhere between April all the way to September. And actually, November is another little peak as well. But June, of course, is the most highest risk here where we have that potential much more often here. So as we take a look at the tornado safety again, remember, like Jenna said, the hall, the stairs, go underneath the stairs. A bathroom is the safest place, but you want to be away from the outside walls because those are the ones that get torn away first. And of course, if you have a basement, I suggest, highly, highly suggest doing that and having a plan there. So if you have a plan at home, that's perfect. If you don't, make sure you can go to a neighbor's house and what your plan would be there. If you don't have a neighbor to go to, then you need to find the closest shelter and see how long it takes to get there. Of course, we have about 13 minute lead time for those situations. A watch too, I just want to break down the terminology, means the situation is definitely favorable for a tornado. It doesn't mean it's happening. A warning means it's happening. It's indicated on radar or it's actually on the ground. An emergency means it's doing a lot of destruction. So uh, 